skin was melting off from the mustard gas and I turned to her dad and said, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to episode number 35 of the Martin Muggle podcast. we have covered fully actual. We've got a couple of fully actual. And um, we've, been, uh, we've been hunting. What's the biggest animal you've ever killed? 15. I once, when I was a kid, and I feel real guilty for this, me and my cousin flipped over a bird's nest and then all the eggs that were in the bird's nest cracked and they were half developed birds that were like eh. and we felt bad so we took the nest with the surviving sort of half bird things to the neighbors like one of the neighbors of the neighborhood and they said oh these teenagers flipped this nest over and we were like acting like we were heroes and then the rangers came and we saved one of the birds lives i hit a kookaburra with a brick once on this day in 1852 you did too. He told me, like, by accident, when you were young, you threw a rock and it killed it. it on this day in 1852, uh, cab- cables. Yeah, the cable, the cable guy <laughs> was in development, the writing of it. Yeah, yeah, so someone <coughs> invented the word cables, and then after that, of course, cables were invented. Came so, later. pretty monumentous day, because without cables, we wouldn't really have any cables. Donald Trump's first son was born today. Two weeks five ago. Five years. Oh, two weeks. They develop quickly in the Trump family. Trump's actually only 17 years old. The first dead body was dug up and then reburied. Um, and today's birthdays. Uh, happy birthday to... Um, to <laughs> happy birthday to God. Yeah. Oh, God watches the show, so happy birthday, mate. Uh, thanks for bloody uh, making us the best. Uh, you, you go all right, cunt. Fucking God up there, you, you fucking go all right, cunt. Yeah, he's not bad. Eh? No, nah, he's not a fucking bad bloke. He fucking, goes, yeah. He no, nah, he's all right. Eh? All in all, end of the day, he's not too shabby. Not too fucking bad. And Buddha? Buddha? Fuck I like, off. No, I like him more. Nah, Buddha fucking stole some of my MDMA nah. last time we was having fucking beers with the dog. Fuck you, Buddha. What about the cow? Can I hit that one? Why don't you touch the cow? Okay, yeah, wait. It's Matt from Wholesome's Cow. I shouldn't break shit. That's not mine. We've had a really crazy, crazy week and we've got a P.O. box now. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to hear it? No. So we're going to introduce a new segment into the show. Called P.O. Boxing. Yeah, and it's when we P.O. Box And things. we box each other with things from the P.O. Box. So our PO box and our this segment's going to be where you send us weird shit and we open it up live, yeah. live to us. But then it's we'll call it the PO unboxing. So just send hey. us some shit. Yeah, put it, make it flash, kind of make a PO box sort of fucking beautiful thing happen. If you watch this on YouTube, which you should, as well as Spotify. All right, and the PO box is PO box two five six, Tagum T A I G U M four zero one eight. Queensland, Q U E E N S L A N D, Australia. And you should know how to spell Australia. People listening on Spotify, they're never going to remember that. So just bloody watch it on YouTube if you want to send us something, and we will open it. So if you have a business you want to promote, send us like, a, if you're like a bricklayer, or send anthrax, us a, send us a brick. Send us anthrax if you hate us. You yeah. can try and kill us. Yeah, send us some poison and, like, and say this is a drink. You could do something like that. Used condoms. Aborted, aborted fetuses. Kids you didn't want that you. Oh, you can't say that. I'm not about nah, fuck it. Send us those half. <laughs> yeah, it's like the birds that I almost killed. I saved one. Yeah, send us your kid. Send us your children through the mail if you want us to <laughs> unbox them on our podcast. So PO Box two five six Tagum four zero one eight is the postcode Queensland Australia. <clears throat> um. What else has happened? Uh, we're, we're recording on a Friday and we're fucking, we just can't wait to fucking get these podcasts done so we can get out of there and just fucking tear have it. a ball, you know? Get out we're there gonna and go, tear the streets up. We're going to go bowling tonight. Maybe. That's how crazy we are. But we've got acid as well that we'll take before we go bowling. That makes it a lot funner. So, uh, yeah, bowling. And then t- tomorrow um, is a big day too. We'll, have, we'll probably have some stories. We're not going to give too much away. We'll probably have a couple of stories. My boyfriend's 21st. Yeah. Lachlan Godfrey. So God bless his soul. It's, he's, t- he's only 20. I like younger dudes. But he's going to be 21 and we've got a yacht 
it's oh dude it's i don't know. yeah it's, it's gonna be sickening like yeah i will regret it sunday everything i did but fuck it hey don't ruin that why not it's my hairband look how stretchy it is yeah is it you gotta have the loose fit style look at that it's fresh fix really a lot of tension on that if look. you want to go back to see my boyfriend everybody lucky godfrey my boyfriend is in on episode, episode 27. 27 so go and have a look at him and then and then think to yourself, oh, yeah, that's what he looks like. That's who they're talking about. That's the 21st that we're going to. They're apparently, there will be footage from it. Jackson's going to be filming. And he's going to try and get a film on it and it's going to, it's just. Oh, dude, it's going to get, I don't even want it to be filmed. It's, yeah. It's, oh, there will be. <sighs> there's Luke Owens coming. There's a lot of the social media boys. Kristen a, Hamby's going to be there. Uh, it is a, a, a boys, boys day, which, and. From, speaking from experience, the boys' days that we've had really got out of hand. I remember the New Year's bender. I was in front. That's what that's what Jackson spoke about. That's what he wants. A, 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 a similar experience to that. That's why he's trying to organise a filmer. Oof. So it's going to be uh, <laughs> well. Let's just say that um, chaos. Hospital. <laughs> Can I have that that my protein shake thing? Protein in it. Yeah, that's alright. I'll mix it with piss. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll have a sip. Michael's going to oh, piss in if his... If you let me piss in this, I'll sip it, but let me piss in peace. Okay. Before yeah. we move on to the next segment, Michael's going to piss in no, his protein shaker. No, get the segment and I'll tell you when I'm ready to like let it out. No. Nah. Look at his little dick there. <laughs> I can smell it. There's a... Yeah, asparagus. A, I had a, asparagus last no, night. No, I can smell the chocolate protein that is mixing with your urine. Oh, look at it slapping on the side of that protein shaker. Oh, <laughs> Yuck, that is fucked. Yeah, that is fucked. It's pretty yellow because I've just been drinking beer. Nearly gagged. <laughs> Fully nearly gagged. <laughs> so, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I want to take my shorts off. Uh, the next segment has been renamed to... Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's all water. Ooh. That's the name of the segment. And this is basically we just answer fan questions. And this week we have six to eight fan questions sent in via Instagram. And the first question is from... So this guy's Nathan and he wants to know if I'm gay. Is Michael gay? Uh, great question. Uh, yes, Michael is gay. Michael has a girlfriend, but he is also like like full gay. Next question. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying there is, but yeah, Michael, I'm just answering. The I guess qu- in Michael a way I am because me and Lachlan are together. But no, normally I'm straight, but with Lockie got free. God bless you. You get enough beers in a woman, he's pretty much nothing you want him to be. Eh? I've seen him turn into a transsexual moth. A moth. All right, next question's from Ryan Matthews, 379. Doubt it. Do you guys even fucking like each other? <laughs> I'd say, yeah, that's a great question. Also, um, yes. We yeah. love each other. Yeah, we like we love each other dearly, and um, yeah, we're very much in love, and you know, we spend a lot of time together, and we really, really admire each other, and we love. We're deeply, deeply in love. It's been like, well, I've known you half my life now. It's been yeah. fifteen years, and I'm almost thirty. That's fucked up. I've never known someone that long, apart from my mum and my other mum. And she moved away fifteen years ago. Both of them did fifteen years ago. So it's the same amount of time that I've known both my mums. Is the same amount so of time. So I am your mum. Yeah, Marty mum. All right, next question is from Lachlan Filmer. Ooh. We've seen, we've, uh, we know him. Yeah, we? yeah, he's a good, we, we chat to him regularly. And he's like, how did your car end up with glitter all over it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, It'll everyone, be out, the yeah. video will be out. No, will it? Yeah, it will, yeah. yeah. The, the video will be out, so you'll be able to see what the fuck happened to my car. On our Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. So go and do that. Go and leave a comment and uh, subscribe and like if you like it. And like share it and that. So yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> this one's Tim with three M's underscore double O. Tim O. Would you rather get fucked by a cactus or suck a hobo's toe? It's a hobo's toe. Easy. Yeah. I'd Fucking a cactus is like... Unless, yeah, 100% suck a toe, unless that's where they... You know how some people inject drugs in between their toes? If he did that, 
I'd, oh, it'd be close because you wouldn't want to get AIDS sucking on his fester. Yeah, but you know, sucking yeah. on his fester. Yeah, if it was all like fucking it was scabbed all pussed up because that's where he injects his heroin in. No, yeah, still no. Do. Oh, yeah. A cactus. It would be there'd be pricks in your ass. It'd yeah, it'd suck. be it'd be I mean, surgery, but you would survive. Whereas, no, but would you shit him out, or would they just suck into your skin? Yeah, they'd, they'd you just suck. become cacti, and then that your blood, your your veins would take a spike up to your heart, and then you're dead. So both ways you die. So yes, I would do both. I understand that. All right, next question's from Jackie McCrackle. Ha <laughs> Jackie, fucking bitch, fuck yeah, Jackie. <laughs> Will you upload to YouTube? <laughs> Dude, they're shit questions this week. Hey? <laughs> Will you upload to YouTube? Like, what do you mean we do upload to YouTube, Jackie? You, yeah, Jackie, if you don't know that we don't upload to YouTube, you need to... You need to have a look on YouTube and just YouTube search Marty and Michael. So before, like, it takes the same amount of time to ask us that question as it does to type into YouTube search Marty and Michael. It's the link in our description on our Instagram. We talk about it all the time. We are YouTubers. We so yes, we do upload to YouTube to answer your question. Fuck, Jackie, I'm trying so hard to be polite right now. I'm angry. <sighs> I knew that was going to be a fucked question. I had a feeling in my sick spine. Lockie McCullop, fucking Lockie dog. Fuck your brother. Ha ha ha. Yes. What's the craziest thing you guys have done overseas? So many things, but what springs to mind? <coughs> Straight away is when we were in Paris, we got arrested and we spent 24 hours in a two meter by meter cell with four people and the gang of the mafia that we got into the fight with was, they were trying to kill us. It was fucked. There's a story in one of our earlier podcasts. You probably Just go back and listen to every listen single that. podcast because yeah. all stories. The craziest thing will be when we uh, kidnapped and bashed that guy. Dude, But yeah. um, the, the other craziest thing was overseas would be when we, um, remember when we tortured that uh, small dog we found? We, we were walking it was home, dead. It walking was home from dead. a night out and we grabbed this dog from this... Like French guys. I don't remember it. I think it's made up. <laughs> <laughs> Little poodle or something, and we took it to an alleyway, and we were sort of just ripping its fur off. Silas Williams underscore. How yeah. is it where you guys live? <laughs> yeah, shit questions this week, no, no, guys. That is, that, no, no. Well, great question. Uh, how is it here? It's look. It's uh, how would you describe it? Like the weather? Is that what you want to know? It's good. Like, it's good, okay? The weather's good. It's like, it's it's 24, 25 degrees Celsius during the day. And at night, it's a it's a lovely, refreshing 16 degrees, 17 degrees. I hate summer here. It's it's not summer yet. But, isn't it? No, it's spring. But um, yeah, no, it's it's quite lovely. And, and thank you for so politely asking that. How is it where you are? <laughs> oh, what? I hate you deep down. <laughs> All right, this one's from Reb Skell, and she's asked, very important question for podcast. Right now, the distance between the Earth and the moon is about 400,000 kilometers. The moon is drifting away by one and a half inches per year. So the question is, do you think Paul Walker would still be alive if he was wearing a seatbelt? <laughs> There's more of a chance. Oh yeah, there's definitely a much better chance. Cause but it's oh, dude! I remember when I went through like a stage when I was working at Woolworths, I would just start like I'd be like, "Fuck wearing a seatbelt," because I haven't been in a proper car accident, really. And so I was just like, Yet. "Fuck putting it on." So I just went through this period of like three months where I just didn't wear a seatbelt until I got pulled over, and they're like, "You weren't wearing a seatbelt," and it was like a four hundred dollar fine. Paul, so, you were being Paul Walker. The, yeah, we went yeah. through a Paul Walker phase. I was furious and very fast. But yeah, um, if he was wearing a seatbelt, he probably... I don't think a seatbelt can can save you if you slam into a tree head on. Is that what it was, a tree? I don't know. I'm just I'm just sort of guessing. It seems like something he would do. Because he would have been... I'm picturing he's in the car, he's screaming, I'm too fast, I'm too furious. And he lines a tree up and he's like says to his mate, hey, watch this, man. I'm going to go through the tree because go I'm through, so fucking watch, I'm going to get to the tree and then like we're going to cut it in half and keep driving through. I imagine... I think. See, like, I liked the guy in a way because 
I guess everyone, he's got a pretty face, so you just sort of go, oh, yeah, fuck, he's cool. But, oh, man, you fucking... Like, it's if a good If you're laugh. in a movie, you've killed your career, first off, if you are in the Fast and Furious series. Even though The Rock just did it, and he's the highest paid actor in the world. It's just a shit movie, shit vibe, cars are fucked. It's just get fucking... one that gets you from A to B. Don't put your life savings and then... Oh, yeah, you know how I feel about cars. But yeah, Paul Walker, like he was too real with his job. He was, um, yeah, but so it was a good, like, it was a good, it's something that we would do. Like, oh, watch me fucking have a head on with this tree at 200 k's an hour. You know, thinking it's a bit of a laugh, but it turns out it's quite dangerous. So after Paul Walker did that experiment, now no one else has to. So yeah. no one out there needs to do that experiment anymore. It turns out it's actually quite dangerous. He did it for science. I think. I think that's how it went. I'm, I'm like 90% sure. sure that that's exactly how the conversation went. Word for word, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, but quote me. Sort of. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> mostly is good. I like that mostly, word. Mostly quote me on that one. And I don't even know if he hit a tree, but... I think that's what happened. Mostly. You know what I mean? Halfy. Shit. All right. This one's the last question. Underscore Caitlin. Underscore. There's a few dots in there too. All right. A good question for the next podcast. What is the most painful video you've done? We've answered this. MMA. We fought professional MMA fighters. I couldn't sit down or cough for a month. My most painful was probably the one where the human pinata video <laughs> where we um just hit each other with a variety of household items. And yeah, it got really, really painful. There was some internal bleeding and um oh. I remember I shat an egg. Like a, a, Yeah, egg. you were getting into chickens that week or some shit. Yeah, like an emu sized egg. Like mm. I think that was due to my internal injuries. I think I, I don't I don't know anymore. It's sort of a really hazy period that reminds me uh we've got a subscription website uh starting so if we can't post any of these fucked up videos that we used to do we can't post them anymore so if you want to see some fucked up shit and see extended versions of all of our videos that we film jump on our waiting list martymichael.com there's only a thousand spots it's like what five bucks a month or some shit yeah, five bucks you a month. You get extended weekly, versions of weekly everything. Content plus, unreleased footage. Plus like two hours of content that yeah, we have had to delete from social media or not ever even post because it's just a bit fucked. It's like our old sketches and some of our old live streams. It's pretty And awesome. like the oh, do you remember the time when we super glued tacks to those tennis balls? Yeah, I remember that. And then we hit them at each other with tennis rackets. Dude, it's tearing, brutal. Tearing strips of flesh off of our body. Oh, oh man. Oh. And we did the same with a sock ball and toe punted it into each other. He had to go to hospital because oh. one of the thumbtacks got, got stuck lodged into, into his hand. hand. Oh, yeah. He was like stuck in between mm. his knuckles. A thumb. A f- what are they called? Thumb or thumb? Thumbtack. Okay, T-H. Thumbtack. Thumb? Did you th- thumbtack? Yeah, I don't know. F-U-M-tack. Yeah. Anyway, so basically that's happening and just... If you like us, sign up. If you don't like us, don't sign up. That's fair enough. All right, we do have two more questions, and these are good questions because I saved them from the other day, and I just realized. Question for the next podcast. Dot 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 dot. dot. Who's it from, man? Oh, this Rye is from Rye J. Rye J. Rye J. Fuck yeah, brother! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, Rye J. Go on. Actually, fuck that question. It's shit. <gasps> Sorry, uh, mate. Shit. Now this one's from Tyson underscore Bowen underscore O six. Rajay's gonna be Devo. Yeah, fuck. I'm okay. Just read it and we'll just quickly answer it. Did you know the left hand side of your brain controls the right hand side of your body, and the right hand side of your brain controls the left hand side of your body? Yes. Cool. Wow. All right. This one's from Tyson underscore Bowen. Tyzy, Tyzy, you fucking legend. Yes, Tyzy. Yes. Yeah. Well, he will love your answer. To this. Do you get flashbacks when eating steak or drinking milk? I get, uh, I wouldn't call them flashbacks. I get episodes. I get, I have episodes of um, extremely intense emotional feelings. And um, so it's like, it comes out like all the rage and anger you put into it. When you see them not in their form, but part of their form, you get like what you want to like have like a relationship. Well, I, don't eat, I don't eat steak and drink milk anymore just because it was just too much. It was too overwhelming. I'd have a, you know, bowl of cereal for breakfast with some milk in it, and um, I'd end up just like 
finding a fucking stray cat and splitting its skull in half, you know, just so overwhelming. So I've just stopped uh, consuming that. But yeah, it's just sort of a, uh, I'd have fits and seizures where I'd be screaming and foaming at the mouth and my eyes would be blinking really fast and I'd be clapping with my palms like this. And my legs would be, I'd be on my belly and my legs would be sort of all contorted up in the air. And I'd be screaming and crying and laughing Didn't at the you same time. you levitate once? You're yeah, like, this oh, one time I sort of levitated and then like levitated up the stairs and slammed into a, the bathroom door. I threw a block of ice at my sister's back. <laughs> yeah, right in the middle of the spine. Cause she Gave offered, a whiplash. Because she offered me like some, uh, some mints. And uh, she, yeah, she still like she still doesn't speak to me. And fair enough, like I hit her in the back with a like a three kilo block of ice. Yeah, yeah. She's, Why well, was that even in the fridge? A three kilo block of ice? That's ridiculous. And she, yeah, as you said, it's episodes. He doesn't he doesn't have control. It's just massive, like massive. I've, emotions. I've dislocated my shoulders once eating a steak because I was trying to um, clap behind my back. Yeah, you started that for a while. And I did. I managed to clap behind my back. The shoulder blades hit. So the back of my hands would clap. (laughs) (laughs) While I would be crying, (laughs) laughing, and screaming of intense rage all at the same time. So the tears wouldn't just run down my face. They would like, it would be like pressurized mist (laughs) flying out of my eyes. Very intense. That sound as well. Yeah, dude, you don't want to see Marty around anything to do with cows. Like, this is... Oh, wait, we can't break that one. But yeah, that's hard for him to not get frustrated at that. Mm. There's a cow, like, in front of us, if you're listening to this. That's why you got to go watch it. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to our website. Subscription-based. Mm, Marty and Michael. Us more money. Send us things in your P.I. box. Oh, yeah. Make sure you send us shit. Mm, don't forget to send us money. Anthrax, children, send fetuses. Send money. Send money to us, hey. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. And that's um the end of question time. We did it. We did it. Um, all right. So now uh, it's on to the next segment. And this segment has been renamed... <laughs> Which, of course, is Russian for uh, some comments on YouTube. Yeah. So these are things, topics that you guys tell us to talk about. So it's similar to Q&A because some of them are questions. It's just us wanting to talk about ourselves. Oh, by the way, while we're getting this up, Hank Von Hell, check him out. He sent us these merch, like these shirts. He's one of my favorite singers. I love him. He knows all the jackass boys. So he sent this up to us. Check them out. Um. All right. Uh, this is a good question here. Uh, when is Michael expected to die? Um, I did some calculations and 2026 on the 13th of August. At 1.30 p.m., uh, there will be a small small car that uh, hits him, wounds him, and then he stupidly um, tries to get up and uh, his vertebrae sort of a bit fractured and it separates and then he falls on the ground and no one stops to pick him up because uh, they just think he's drunk. So everyone just keeps walking by and sort of laughing well, you're at that him. fucking <laughs> died that pulls and, uh, dirt. It takes him, yeah, you know, a good day, but he, yeah, he, he dies of uh, dehydration. It's painful. Yeah, so... Mm. So yeah, that's how Michael's going to die, and uh, it's his MS won't finish him, and he w- won't be buried. He will be hung from a tree in a public area where um, there will be a ring of ten meter radius where you can uh, throw projectiles at his hanging corpse. So yeah, great question, and that was from a question from Panna. Uh, Archie Turner said, I definitely noticed how fat Michael got because when I started watching him, he was like Gollum. Fuck, I miss Gollum, man. I miss that guy. That guy was, um, he was unpredictable. Like, I've seen, I saw that guy do some fucked up shit. I sit down and there's just like this fold of skin that goes like over my belt. It's fucking annoying. I never used to have that. Yeah, we, I don't know what's happened. We used to be really into exercise and now we just not don't fucking care anymore god it's annoying it's hard to get back into it yeah, steroids. You go, yeah well, i'm gonna take steroids we're not gonna name names matt brown matt brown uh works at wholesome concreting uh they have an office here in milton brisbane and uh matt, matt brown he's um 
quite high up. So he's got people working underneath him and he sort of, you know, sits in the top of the building and orders him around and says, hey, hey go there. He's the king of the castle. He's the king of the castle, the wholesome castle. <laughs> so uh, Matt Brown from uh, Wholesome. Awesome. Is it weird that I wanted to do the drugs you were saying and actually put my thumb up my bum? No, that's not weird at all. <laughs> that's Dude. Actually, that's actually quite normal. What drugs were they? I can't remember. All of them. All of the drugs. You should do a fan mail section on your podcast. That's the PO unboxing section coming next week. Two five two five six <laughs> PO box two five six Tagum. Send us four zero one eight Queensland Australia. If we fucking start- we got the big box, so you can send the big things. If we if we fucking start this segment and then find out that we haven't got anything to unbox, oh. it is going to be so embarrassing. We are. I'm yeah. going to go so red. So with rage. Both of you. Are you okay? Did you do a poo poo? Matt Brown from Wholesome has just Apple gone and done a shit. He's just gone upstairs and done a that huge was a shit. a long shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next question. Reese is gay. Flathead941 has said that Reese is gay. There you go. Well. I will drink it later if you at the end. Michael's just grabbed his protein shake and he wants to continue urinating in it. So uh, D Namel has said, "Sorry, I don't tell anyone about you guys anymore. When I put these on, someone either turns it off, says it's too violent, or they don't react at all. My topic of the week stems from your cock blocking stories, which didn't have any actual cock blocking, by the way. Yeah, we they still fucked him. My favorites are uh, <laughs> when." Women are so turned off they walk away, like when Michael took that poor girl out with Marty and Henry only to vomit and shit over himself for 45 minutes. And that, and to contrast all the cool chicks you know, like when we hitched a ride with a drug dealer. Ellen, wow. That's, She's a legend. that's good memory. That's good memory. Yeah, I like that guy. Uh, I don't know. What's his name? D. Namel. D. <laughs> D. Namel. N A M E L. D. That's a, dot Namel. That's a funny name. Yeah, it's pretty good. How shit was our video last week? It's just the logo. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. How good's the Justin Ryan podcast though, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's out. yeah fuck yeah, brother. Tutu. Any questions from this? I want to see your faces and Michael piss in a jar. Yeah, there you go. This episode you'll be able to there's plenty of that going around. <sighs> the smell of the protein is still overpowering, which weird. is sickening. It's weird. It's, weird. it's, weird. it's like giving me an this appetite. It's weird. making me sick. This wee's weird. This wee's weird. <clears throat> um, Blair Cottrell or Fraser Anning would be funny guests. That's true. I'll see what I can do. Who are they? Sorry, Fraser Anning. Yeah. He's a politician. He's the one who got eggs. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, dude. A, yeah. Oh, <laughs> throw shit on his back. <laughs> throw yeah. human Guys, shit on that guy. We've been back. searching through the news stories. No one has thrown. Judge Judy's still walking around with a relatively clean back. Don't forget, hashtag someone throw human shit at Judge Judy's back. Start that hashtag. Hashtag some, comment it in our videos if you see it. Hashtag someone throw human shit. Yeah. Very important, human shit at Judge Judy's back. I want this to happen. Oh, dude, so do I. I would, I would go to jail. Not for a that. big amount, just a, a bit of it, and just leg it after. Get out of there because yeah, she'll probably she will... chase you down. Yeah, well, no, well, she, we don't want to hurt her. I, I just want some human shit to slap her in the back. So I want to see her face. Yeah. When she realizes it's human shit, I think she'll be like trying to look at her back, but it's in like an awkward place to see, and she'll be. Welling with rage when the smell hits her, yeah, yeah. and then some of the shit will fall off onto the ground, and she'll turn around and look see at that. it, realize It'll what it is, her. see the person running away, and then I think she will turn into a super saiyan. All right, next segment. Next segment is called. <laughs> 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 oh, is that my ears again? This segment is basically where we just tell you uh, some fucked up stories. This week, it's not. Our fucked up story. We can't take credit for these These stories. These have been friends of ours. And we're not going to name names. You guys thought I was going to name names, but I didn't. We're not even going to say if they're how they're related to us. Just just to give us some more buffer, because some this one story in particular is very disgusting. Yeah, but like, oh yeah, true. So, um, one of our someone we know, we know this story. Okay, it's an anal. Do you want to go for these? So this is Marty and Michael's anal stories with friends. 
All right. So um, the first story. The first story. So anal's where you have sex in the bum. In the bum bum. In the bottom. You sort of just fucking you go fucking miss that one straight out of the fucking guts of it. Straight out the guts. I say you do bum sex. <laughs> <laughs> So the first story is uh, so again we are not involved in this. These are not our stories, but we know these people that did it, and that's why we're telling you because they're funny. They're very they're funny to fucked. us. Fucked. So uh, and this this uh, you go first because mine's worse than yours. Puts me off anal pretty hard. This story, but uh, yeah, Michael's is much worse. So uh, went out with a mate. Uh, got you know drunk as you do this is like over 10 years ago okay when our decision making was very poor anyway my friend i'm just gonna keep it quite brief because i'm worried that he listens he's not gonna no no one knows who he is and we're not naming names we're just saying a story and he uh, won't care anyway um it gets to the end of the night we're both hammered and uh this person picks up a girl and um She's not the most attractive. Uh, Was she girl. ugly? I, th- I can't. She... I can't remember. Okay. I can't remember. Um, and anyway, so they get home, and um, this person is so drunk, and it's the lights are off. They start, you know, hooking up in bed or whatever. And this person is so drunk, he doesn't even realize it, but he end- he he slips it in the wrong one. He's straight past the bloody gate and the fucking the guts up, of it. Around the back pad, it curls it up and the fucking straight up the guts of it, and she's fucking her ass. And he didn't even realise. He didn't even realise that he was fucking her ass. So he would have been going hard out. Yeah. Oh my god, that would have hurt. She didn't say anything. Well, I don't. I don't know. I she wasn't might, there. Yeah. She's and, dead. And um. Anyway, and that he didn't even realise until the next day when he went to the toilet, and he went to the toilet, started pissing, pulled his foreskin back to reveal a piece of corn. Oh piece of corn god damn it that's fucked so he's fucking around his dick he said his dick was just covered in shit as well and a piece of corn that's piece, fucking yeah. unbelievable and then he said he just he didn't even have a shower he just had a wank and then had a shower <laughs> yeah that's right why because he couldn't come or something oh he just i don't know he just twisted bad <laughs> twisted guy as a bat and uses the shit as lube Oh man! So yeah, <laughs> very yeah. Uh, oh my god! Disgusting story in that one. <laughs> All right, this one's worse in a way because your parents. Not in a way, in involved. every way, it yeah. is much much worse. So a friend, someone that this is yeah, someone, someone did this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> imagine you're in a relationship. There's a so you've got a relationship. Yeah. It, well, fuck. That's <laughs> perfect. That's a perfect little pun there. Okay, okay. So basically, the dude's over at his girlfriend's house. They're in the kitchen. The parents at the house have gone out. They're like, okay, we're leaving now. We're just going out. Fucking the garage door's gone up. They've fucking reversed the car out. They're gone. The boyfriend and the girlfriend decide to have anal Get in a the bit kitchen. Frisky. Like real fast anal. So he's just. So they've it's, gone and he's just gone. And they're a bit horny. He's slipped it straight in. Straight in the arse. Straight past the No lube gate. or anything. And it's just like, all right, it's in now. He's, he's fucking going at oh, it in, in a pretty hard. And then the fucking garage door opens up again. They hear it opening. And they're freaking out because they're like mid fucking anal. And the door, the, the mum's going to come through the door at any, any second. So like the boyfriend freaks out. And goes fucking pulls out so quickly on this dry ass <laughs> that she it pro, what's it called prolapse yeah pulls her inside pulls out. her inside of her ass out pulls her guts out of her ass <laughs> yeah out. straight up the guts pulls her guts out of it so the guts are out now her ass has got this like red like baboon thing it's like a baboon and ass you can't control your shit then so you've just she's just shitting continuously shit's just pouring out of her just in the kitchen. S- like a like a stream like a of shit, shit hose. so there's shit everywhere. Uh, shit hose. The boyfriend I is such a cunt that he's just gone fuck this. King hit her leg. No, yeah, he didn't hit her, oh. but he legged it and ran upstairs in fear of just the situation of mum and dad, her mum and dad walking in. So he's just ran and just ditched her, 
And then, <laughs> and then the mum walks in oh. and just sees her daughter just screaming and just shit flying out of her ass in the and kitchen. Then, and she's just only left like two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, it was literally like three minutes. Comes back in to find your daughter. And now she has to have a fucking... No, 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 no. <laughs> no, don't go yet. So at the end, she's like, Mom, I can't... Like, she says to her mom, Mom, I can't stop shitting. She's like, wow. Like, and blah, blah, blah. End of the day, she had to go to hospital. And that girl forever will shit into a bag. <laughs> yeah, she has a b- shit bag now attached to her <laughs> belly for the rest of her life. Because her ass is fucked. Like, literally, it got fucked. Yeah, it's just, it's just, he fucked broke it. He fucked broke it. <laughs> he fucked broke it. That's the ultimate. Yeah, what a nice guy. Not really. Up? Hey? No, no, no. Married? No, 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 no. She's he would just... have broken up with her that night. <laughs> <laughs> he would have broken up with her that night, I imagine. <laughs> He's like, you're broken now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least she gets good parking for the rest of her life. Yeah, yeah. Disabled parking is great. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our anal stories with friends. Not Yeah, with friends, not our anal stories. Mm. Can't stress that enough. They are not our yeah. anal stories. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, which brings us to our final segment now, uh, which has not been renamed. Ah! Yes, it has. Oh. Got him. Be fun. <laughs> Uh, it's just where we prank call uh, fucking fucking dominoes, and for this week, I'm just gonna crack make up on the spot dad jokes the whole time while I'm talking to them, and see what happens uh, with the fucking dad. I'll start off like real dad joking, and then I might get a bit twisted and fucked at the end. G'day Holly, would I be able to make a uh, pickup order please? Yeah, what were you after? Yeah, look, I'm, uh, I'm buying for the fam, so I've got a couple of pizzas here. Um, just, can I get a, uh, you guys do Hawaiian, don't you? Hawaiian, yeah. Yeah, right. What, what, what sort of bases you've got there? We have thin, classic or deep pan. Uh, look, I'm, I might get the uh, the deep pan on that one. And um, yep. on a tomato tomato sauce base, that one please. Or tomato. That reminds me reminds me of uh, of a joke. Actually, you like jokes, Holly? Sorry, what was that? I've got a quick joke for you. There's a bloody a family of uh, tomatoes walking along, right? And uh, the bloody the mum and the dad tomato are at the front, and uh, the dad tomato uh, accidentally steps on the uh, little baby tomato and and uh, turns around and says, uh, "Catch up." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks, thanks, mate. Uh, so, uh, also, I'll look. I'll get a uh, the meat lovers. I'll get a couple of those. Put down a couple of them meat lovers. And uh, you guys got that uh, Italian uh, herb bread or garlic bread or whatever you want to call it. First cheesy garlic bread. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That bloody reminds me of another joke, actually. Uh, yeah. So there's two Italians uh, walk into a pub, and the bartender um, looks at them and says, "Get out, you fucking wogs." <laughs> That's a bit more uh, bloody R-rated, that one, but yeah, this, that one's not for the kids. <laughs> what what other meats you've got there? Um, so we've got a steak pizza. So um. Yeah, I actually, look, wouldn't want a bit of a steak. That reminds me of a, just a quick one. Another bloody got another joke for you since you bloody like them. What did the um What did the farmer say to the other farmer? I'm not sure. He said. He was leaning over the fence and goes, Oi, mate, we're farmers. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird one. I've got a, got a weird sense of humor, that one. Yeah, uh, no, no, just, just, just the, uh, the one there and, and the others just on the, uh, on the classic. The classic. Yeah, yeah, and just the other ones on just the normal base there. The, and so you got the fat one, you got the normal one, and you got the skinny one, right? Yep. Skinny room. Right, that yeah, reminds me of another bloody room. joke. You'll fucking love this one. Right, so there's a fat guy, a normal bloke, and a skinny guy, and they're all walking walking into the bloody gra- graveyard, right? And the fat guy turns to the middle guy and says, mate, that's where my mother's buried. Don't step on there, right? So the fucking middle-sized guy goes and stands on the grave, right? And then the, the fat guy starts chasing him, and then the bloody uh, the, the skinny guy, while the fat guy's chasing him, the skinny guy's fucking digging the grave up and shit. 
Yeah, no, that's a. Uh, I think I forget the punchline there, but you, you sort of get the gist of it. Uh, yeah. So, how many pizzas we got there now? Classic meat lovers, a classic chicken and camembert, some cheesy garlic bread, and a classic margarita. Yep, that's great. Uh, why'd the chicken cross the road? Why? Because it was getting chased by five rapists. <laughs> Another dirty one, that one. A bit of a sick. So, what name was your order under? Jono. Jono? Yeah, Jono. And uh, look, what drinks have you guys got? You guys got that fanner? Sun kissed. Can you get it in cans? Can yeah, you... well, we have Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Mountain Dew, Solo, 7 Up. Do you do cans? Cans of drink, or is it just. Like 10 just... Yeah, we do cans. Right, can I get uh, six cans of Sun kissed? Yep. And, uh, oh, fuck, that reminds me of another one, actually. So there's four, four cans heading towards the hairdresser, right? Four cans. The first can goes and gets bloody like an afro thing, right? Second can goes in, gets his hair bloody straightened. Third can goes in and gets like a real, like a buzz cut, right? And then the last can looks at all the other cans and goes, mate, I'm not bloody getting that shit done. Yeah, fuck. yeah so, all right, and uh, six cans of Sunkist and um, you guys got Pepsi or Coke over there? Oh, Pepsi and Coke, how they're bloody fucking arguing all the time, aren't they? There's a bottle of Pepsi and a bottle of bottle of Coke, right? They're having they're having dinner and they're sitting at the table, right? And the bottle of Coke turns to the pe- Pepsi and says, "Mate, why are you why are you copying everything I'm doing? You taste exactly like I do, right? But I was I was put I was made first. And then the Pepsi just turns to the Coke and says, "Shut up, you drugo," because <laughs> he's on fucking Coke or some shit. <laughs> Again, because I've got um, some stuff to do. So it was a deep Hawaiian, two classic meat lovers, chicken and camembert, cheesy garlic bread, the margarita, and six cans of sunkiss. Why did the baby die? Why? Because the pit bull got off the chain, right? Ha <laughs> ha Fucking love me, baby jokes. <laughs> we got another one, quick, just a quick one. Why? Why did the baby die? Not sure. Really aggressive brain tumor. It was about six months old. Ha ha ha. Uh, I'm just going to have to cancel that order and um, I don't know why. So you don't want any of that? Uh, no, but I ha- do have one more joke. One more quick joke for you. Right, there's this uh, lady walking around and um, she's got fake tits. Do she- no, no, trust me, you, you'll love this one. She's got fake tits, right? And she goes to the beach and uh, this bloke walks up to her and says, uh, tries to introduce himself. And then he sees, she sees him looking at her, her tits, right? So she fucking, she knows all he wants is bloody sex, right? So she just fucking looks at him straight in the square in the fucking eyes and goes, you fucking look at me again, I'll fucking drop you. That's what she said to the bloke. And the bloke turns around and goes, I'm blind. I was blind. Night. He didn't even bloody, couldn't even see him. Whoa, dude! I hate that guy. Who you were there? <sighs> that was sick. That was, I hated that prank call. I like that is one of <laughs> that's, that's one of the best ones. Anyway, um, that is the end of episode number thirty-five. Um, be with us. Be one. Always be whole, and never forget that we are the, the best. best. We're, we're the, the best. best. We're the best, we're the best, oh, we're the best. Michael's going to drink some piss. Have one sip. Spit it that way, shit. Oh. Oh, anyway, uh, I was just saying we're like, the best in that. It's so like chocolate, fuck. yeah, we're sort of the best. <laughs>